Suspects make various attempts to persuade the authorities not to charge or detain them. However, what occurs when these suspects attempt to persuade the police to release them through flirtation and seduction? I don't Hi. believe you! Because you wasn't there to help me when I was needed! How much do you have to drink tonight? Only one drink. Just one drink? Yep. Yes, Final sir. answer. Miller. Please don't charge me for the I promise I'll have somebody pick me up. Here are several instances where this occurred. Starting with Naomi Furr on October 30th, 2022. One of them was an officer who was on patrol in Northport, Sarasota County, at around 6.30 a.m., where he noticed a black Hyundai sedan with some part of it obstructing an intersection. Naomi Furr was the driver, and she operated outdated plates and a suspended license. I was just picking up my friend from Northport. Okay. Where are you headed to? Uh, I was just, uh, well, she lives in Northport. I was just trying to, uh, Thank you. You got your registration check for the clerk? Um, yeah, I'm trying to okay. I'm so sorry. Your fake cut had scared me when I walked up and forgot tomorrow's Halloween. Pardon? I said your fake cut had scared me when I walked up oh. forgot tomorrow's <laughs> Halloween. I'm like, oh boy. I know, right? So, reason I got stopped, few things. When you're sitting at the light back here to make the left, yeah. you're all the way out in the intersection. Oh, okay. Like you were past the crosswalk, but you were you were on Toledo Blade for making the left. Okay. Um, that the tags on the car is the car registered to you? Yes, sir. Okay. The tags on the car expired back in March. Yes, sir. Or April, I'm sorry. Um, and your license is suspended. Yes, sir. Did you know your license was suspended? I apologize about that. Okay. Um, you have insurance on the car? Yes, I do. Okay. Who's it for? Fur who appeared intoxicated and was coming from a Halloween party, admitted to knowing about her suspended license. So, right here, tip of my pen is, okay? Yep. Yep. With your left pointer finger, I want you to reach up, touch the tip of the pen, and put it back down your side. Okay, that's your right. Oh, my left and my yeah. left. Okay, so we're in a we're in agreement where the tip of the pen is, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna move it back and forth in front of your face a few times. Okay. I want you to keep your head straight okay. and just follow it back and forth with your eyes. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. Keep your, keep your head straight, just look back and forth. Oh, okay, gotcha. The officer conducted field sobriety exercises, and Furr's unsteady behavior led to probable cause for DUI and driving with a suspended license. I literally you're not, even, you're, not, even, you're not even supposed to be driving in the first place. You have five different suspensions on your license. You have an insurance suspension and three fail to pay traffic tickets. I so promise I'm, I'm not I'll have somebody me. pick up me, uh, please. We're, we're past that. But I will not have anybody, please don't charge me for the I promise I'll have somebody pick me up. Please, I, I literally, I, I'll leave my car here, like you said you would. We can't leave a car here, and I never said we'd do Or, uh, I mean, I, no, but I mean, like, I have the car. Well, just, the car can't be driven anyway, because there's no insurance but, on it. Yeah, exactly, but like, I, I'll have to, please take the DUI off, please, sir. I, I promise I have somebody pick me up. It's please. out of my hands. That, that should course. have been done before you left, wherever you left, okay? You can't be driving like this. That's how people die. I, I understand, sir, sir but I wasn't right drinking or anything. Like, I, I wasn't thinking I would cause an accident or anything. On a, on a scale of 0 to 10, 0 yeah. being stone cold sober, yes. 10 being the most drunk you've ever been in your yeah. life, where would you put yourself? Uh, you are going to jail for DUI. Please, sir, please. It's it's out of my hands. I wish okay. I, I'll pick myself up, please, sir. I don't want to go out it's, of the U.S., please. It's, it's, please, sir, that's, okay. it's going to ruin my whole life. That, that does, a DUI does not mean that you're going to up and be deported. Yes, because I'm from Switzerland. I don't, I'm on a green card. I'm not. Wait, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm on a green card. I'm not on a... So. Please, sir. I promise I'll have myself pick me up. You can take my car. Please, it's, sir. It's out of my hands tonight. Okay, so we'll go ahead and walk back in. But you're the one arresting me, right? Yes, I am the one arresting you, but the decision to make the arrest is already out of my hands tonight. So let's walk back in. Why? Because everything we've done tonight is on video. Everything. The car, both of us, we're, we're videoing everything. We're not I have a camera here. I have but you can still make your decision about who, why you're going to arrest me for what. And, and here's the thing. Just because you get arrested doesn't mean you get convicted of this. Okay? So take a breath. Okay? <laughs> This isn't the end of it, okay? You still have a day in court. You'll still be able to, to fight this. If you, he's going to give you an opportunity. I promise I'll listen, have somebody listen, pick me up, what's, what's gonna I don't want to go listen, to jail, let me, let me explain this to you. So please. when we get down to the jail, I'm going to give you the opportunity to, blow, to submit to a breath test, to blow in a breathalyzer. 
that is your opportunity to show me, prove me wrong, prove me that you are not drunk, uh, and you are safe to operate a vehicle. But it's, However, when begging did not work, she resorted to other ways. The only, the only thing that you could do to not go to jail tonight is not drive drunk. That's the only thing that would stop you from not going to jail tonight, is not driving drunk. I, I wasn't trying to. I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to. Okay. I understand you weren't trying to, but you were. So. But I wasn't driving drunk at all. Okay. Please have a seat. And there's nothing I can do, sir. No, ma'am. Fortunately, there's not. Even if somebody picks me up. Mm -mm. We're, we're past that. Can you please put your knees in for the front? Thanks. Mm -hmm. Did she? Did you see her with a wallet or anything? No. What she was wearing? What she was wearing when she got out? No, I, I get that. Oh, yeah, she gave me her license. Uh, I don't see a wallet. We're just trying to make sure that we take stuff like that. There was some cash up front. I put that in that purse. Yeah. Did you call? For, there's a open one there, and there's an open one in the garbage pail behind you. Fireball. Yeah. Open containers of alcohol were found when a search was conducted on Furrer's car. She was arrested, did not submit to a test of breath, and was jailed in Sarasota County Prison. Her vehicle was towed. If you thought that this is considered flirting, wait until you see how Grace was behaving. Who else is in the car? Who else is in the car? Stop, don't get out. I'm asking you questions, you answer. Okay, and I will answer. Cringeworthy camera footage made headlines after the arrest of a chaotic hit and run in Ohio, Brunswick, this April. Grace Spoonamore, a 20 year old exotic dancer. All right, step out. A white step female. Out. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Why did you take off like that? I'm sorry. Were you drinking or something? No. Where are you coming from? Broadway. Can you stop pulling me like that? Nope. Do you have anything in your pockets? Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? <laughs> I don't back. know. You want to check me? <clears throat> Search me real quick. It may feel intervised. All right, stop. <laughs> Sitting there. No, you don't want to stop. Are you on something right now? No. I just came for dinner with my trick. How much you have to drink there? Two doubles. Two doubles of what? Patron. Okay. So you are drunk. And I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. Where's the owner of that vehicle? I don't know. Who's Donta Smith? I just bought it. All right. <clears throat> The officer traced her and found warrants for crimes in possession of a vehicle. Are you injured? No. Do you need EMS? No. Okay. Right. I need to talk to you. What? Don't hit me with a what? What do you need? Don't try me because I used to be a paramedic. Okay. All Don't right. hit me with a what you need. Okay, what do you... Because I know All that right. you want to listen to more than what I got. What is you your name? You want a drug bus. What's that? You want a drug bust, don't you? Do you have drugs in the car? I don't. Okay, all right. And you want to check it? We are going to check my, it. My trick? That vehicle is going to get towed. Okay, so you're going to give me the clothes out of it? All right, yeah, we'll get what you need out of it. What is your name? Stay in Grace. the car. Stay in the car. Okay, I understand. Get in the car. I, okay. Get your leg in the car. Listen, handsome man. Get your leg in the car. You fool. Get your foot in the car. Just stop. It's what is your name? Grace. Grace what? G R A C E. Because who can stand a regular without drinking? Who can what? Now? You you can't 
sell dick without selling it for cum. What do you mean? You understand that? No. No? No. You gotta make it hard before it comes. Okay. Once Did you just comes, move here from Georgia? Yes. Okay, how long have you been up in Cleveland? Like, maybe a year. Why'd you move up here? Because I didn't know it was a snowy. And it's cold. <laughs> What's a good phone number for you? 706. I don't like talking to you between these bars. Can I talk to you in person? You are talking to me in person. No, I'm not. I'm talking to you between bars right now. You understand Okay. That? What's your current address right now? Where are you staying? Don't worry about all that. What's your current? Well, I need your current address. No, I'm not giving it to you. You need to give me your current address right now. And what do you want to do if I don't? I'm going to charge you jail? with obstructing. Constructing what? Obstructing official business. What is okay, your address? Okay, that's cool. Address? I don't care. What is your current address? I don't care. In the footage, Spoonamore, allegedly intoxicated, slurred her words and displayed incoherent behavior. In the course of arrest, she refused to stop having tantrums, spitting at the arresting officer, and initially denied her intake of tequila, although she later admitted taking several doubles. Spoonamore called the officer handsome and asked to be tased, claiming she likes it kinky. I don't uh, believe you, because you wasn't there to help me when I was needed. Okay, but I'm telling you. No, I don't care. I don't care. You wasn't needed when I needed you when I was bleeding out. Where was you? Was that in Georgia? No, it was in Cleveland. Well, we're not in Cleveland right now. I don't now. give a f he is in Cleveland. We're in Brunswick. You let me Among the charges against her included driving under the influence, speeding, obstructing official duties, and assault against an officer. She was arrested after crashing her blue Buick Enclave into another car and attempting to flee. This was definitely crazy. But things don't end here, as here is another woman who tried to imitate Grace's manner. On January 15, 2023, Officer Nathan Smith of the Bentonville Police Department observed a black SUV drifting over yellow lines on S.E. Walton Boulevard. Hello. Hello. Hey, I'm Officer Smith, Bentonville Police Department. Nice hey. to meet you, Mr. Smith. Um, I've never heard that before on Travis Stop. I appreciate that. Um, hey, so I'm just stopping you for improper lane use. Sorry, I was on the phone. You're on the phone? I'll be honest. Okay. Who are you uh, on the phone with? My baby daddy. I'll show it to you, too. Okay. Yeah. Zachary? Yeah. You can talk to him if you where, want. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from JJ's. I just got off. I'm going to Street. Go home. Yeah. Okay. You live on Street? <laughs> yes, sir. In Bentonville? Yep. Okay. What time did your shift end at JJ's? It ended at 10.30. Okay. Did you have to clean up and all that yep. stuff? Okay. How much did you have to drink tonight? <laughs> Only one drink. Just one drink? Yep. Yes, Final sir. answer. Miller. A Miller Lite? Yes. <laughs> I won't lie to you. A Miller Lite. That's, that's all you've had? Yes, sir. You can ask Zachary. I don't really want to talk I to Zachary. I know you don't, but I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. Hey, uh, do you have your driver's license? Yes, sir. Um, here's these two. My insurance and registration. Give me a second because I do just throw my driver license in here. Bad on it. Awesome. Brooke? Yes. Teague. Am I saying that right? Teague? Yes. Like baseball league. Teague like baseball league. That's yep. <laughs> <laughs> it helps people spell it because they never spell it correctly. 971. Temperature 1. The car came to a halt just outside of credit cars. Brooke Teague was the driver and showed indications of being under the influence, bloodshot eyes and slurred speech. As the cop approached her, she acted all funny and lively. Your head, do you understand that? Okay. okay. You, you want to move your hair a little bit for me? Appreciate it. All right, right here, okay? Don't move your head. Try not to move your head. You're making me giggle, I'm sorry. It makes me giggle too. It's okay. okay. <laughs> I snore. I'm from Sorry. Huntsville. We're supposed to be I'm from Huntsville. It's going to make me snore.
Brooks said that she took one Miller Lite after a shift in JJ's grill. It was agreed upon that she would undergo standardized field sobriety tests. The tests revealed that in the testing period, she had nystagmus, problems in balancing herself, and she was unable to properly carry out test instruction. What's her purpose behind this nonsense laughing, right? Alter the situation, one might guess. Therefore, she was arrested on DWI charges, put under handcuffs, and carted off to the Bentonville police station. There were traces of probable vomit in the car's cup holders during the vehicle inventory. At that time, Brooke consented a breath test and gave her a sample of 0.12% of blood alcohol. The vehicle was towed and Brooke was processed accordingly.